7 o'clock in the morning at a FARC camp somewhere in the Colombian jungle. The guerrillas are listening to news updates and internal communiques. The same ritual is repeated every day, David Berain tells us. The journalist who works for the Spanish website ADN.es has spent 10 days with these men and women. So who are the FARC? To try and answer that question, the journalist asked them how they view their hostages. These prisoners of war, whether they are political or military prisoners, live alongside us, the fighters. The grain and cereals they eat are given to them by us, the combatants. That's our reality. That's the way the war is. If they're shown in a difficult situation, it's to create an effect. But all the prisoners who've been released have left in good physical condition. They were able to speak out, make statements and go straight back into their jobs, such as the Colombian Foreign Affairs Minister. What shape is the organization itself in nowadays? The reporter tells us that the FARC is far from being derailed in any way. From what I saw, they had plenty of food and provisions and lots of military equipment. I was on the march for practically 10 days without seeing a single soldier from the Colombian army anywhere near. What's more, one day I saw the FARC secretariat contact all the camps by radio. In other words, he was in simultaneous contact with all of them by radio to read them a communique, which proves that they have the capacity to communicate, even though Uribe's government says this is not the case. It looks as though Ingrid Betancourt is not about to be freed, according to the information gathered by David. He says that negotiations between France and the FARC appear to be at an impasse.